and welcome back to another video this is crypto coins and in this video i'm gonna give a full tutorial how to buy and stake metaverse pro on both trust wallet and metamask so you'll be up and running you'll be able to buy and stake metaverse pro today i'm gonna try to make this as simple and as fast as possible so let's get right to it the first thing that we want to do is we want to connect the Binance Smart Chain into your MetaMask wallet. I will leave a link under the description of this video uh, for this uh, page. So you want to scroll down and you scroll down here, uh, configure to wallet, continue to scroll down and mainnet. The one that says this is the one you're probably looking for. So this is the information to add the network, not the test net. You want to add the mainnet. So what you want to do is open up your MetaMask wallet on a different tab so that um, it doesn't uh, cancel you out when you're entering the information. So now that we have the information, this is the main net of the smart chain that we want to add to it. Uh, I already have it installed, but this is the process. If you don't, you want to go up here to the top right to your networks and you click add new network. Your network name, we go back to the Binance page here and we copy this and we paste. Uh, then it's new RPC URL. We copy this and we go here. It says I already have it installed, so I'm getting this error. But if you don't have the Binance Smart Chain installed on your MetaMask, you will not get this error. So this is only if you don't have Smart Chain installed. If you already have it installed, you can skip these steps. So let's continue. Chain ID is 56. You go here and you paste uh, symbol BNB. We paste here and the block explore URL. Go here and you paste here and you save it. So that's how you add the Binance Smart Chain network into your MetaMask. Now for Trust Wallet, uh, Trust Wallet already has all the networks installed, so it's a lot easier and you can completely uh, skip this step if you have Trust Wallet. So let's continue to the coin. So what we want to do now is um, we want to add the token into our wallet. So you could copy the address here. You go to MetaMask. Let's exit here. You want to make sure you're on the right network. Uh, this is the smart chain network Binance, and then what you want to do is click here where it says import tokens and you want to paste the contract and here it comes out it auto populates meta and token decimal is nine so then we can add the custom token here into your wallet so now we can go back to our wallet here and this is the Binance smart chain network selected and it's showing our BNB and our meta uh, tokens here. So it's showing zero, zero. Now let's do this on Trust Wallet. So on Trust Wallet, you wanna go to the homepage, click on the top right, you do a search here, and um, I'm gonna put meta. It's gonna populate mine that I have here. So I'm just gonna add more characters just so that it doesn't find it. And it says no assets found, add a custom token. So here on the network, you want to make sure you go to smart chain and you put the same information here. You put the contract address that you get from uh, coin market cap and uh, you type in the name symbol and decimals. Now, if um, it's not auto populating the information, let's go to coin market cap here. and you click on the contract and it shows you the information here. So um, the contract is here. The decimals is here. Uh, for the name, you wanna input um, Metaverse Pro and for the symbol, you wanna input Meta. So that's how you add the token into your trust wallet. Once it's added into your trust wallet, you wanna go up here and search for it and you want to enable it so here you switch it back and forth to enable it so that's how you add 
uh, the network and the token into your wallets. So how do you buy this? Now that we have the token enabled into our wallet for our wallet to recognize it. We scroll down on CoinMarketCap and it shows us the available exchanges in which uh, you can purchase Metaverse Pro. So you have BUSD, USDC, and USDT. So the way I bought this token, I went with BUSD. And the only way you can buy BUSD is through Binance US or Binance. So you need to log into Binance. You need a Binance account. And then you go to, once you log into your account, you click up here to trade, you click on markets, and it brings you to this page and you click on USD markets. And then here you type in BUSD. That's what I bought it with. And here's a trading pair uh, you can buy here. So the trading pair is BUSD, uh, USD balance. So one thing to note, when you buy on Binance, at least from my experience, and I add money into the account from uh, my bank account, and I buy a new currency, a new crypto, it takes five days before I can actually transfer those cryptos out into another wallet. It holds my new buys for five days. I don't know if it's just certain cryptos or all of them, but every time I bought on Binance, I cannot transfer those out from my wallet until five days. So um, I don't know if you wanna buy something like Bitcoin somewhere else, I recommend something like Bitcoin or Litecoin, uh, not Ethereum because of the gas fees are too high. And then transferring that over to Binance US, um, selling your Bitcoin for US dollars, and then buying the BUSD crypto here. And then you're going to have to transfer it over to your MetaMask or your trust wallet. So that's kind of just from my experience. Um, you have to go through Binance. You have to buy BUSD. Um, and the way I bought it was I had BNB on one of my wallets. So I transferred it over here to Binance US. Um, you can also do it on the regular Binance. I'm just based out of the US. So I'm using Binance US. And um, I swapped my BNB for BUSD, I believe. I'm not sure if I, I swapped it or if I sold my BNB for B for US dollars and then I bought BUSD. The point is Binance is a place where you buy BUSD and then you have to transfer that over to your wallets. So now we have to add BUSD into your MetaMask wallet. So how do we do that? We go back here to CoinMarketCap and it's the same procedure. Uh, copy the address here. We go to MetaMask, import tokens. You paste the address and there you have it add custom token import. So now you have BUSD in your MetaMask. Now for trust wallet, it's a little bit easier. Go to the top right once again, type into the search bar BUSD and it's there. We want the BEP, we want the BEP 20 enabled. So here you go. You slide it back and forth. You want to make sure it's enabled. Once you have it on your wallet, your wallet recognizes that you have uh, BUSD installed. Then what you want to do is go back to your Binance and send those funds out into your MetaMask wallet or your trust wallet. When you withdraw the BUSD from Binance into your MetaMask or trust wallet, make sure you select the BEP20. Once you receive the funds, into your wallet. Now we need to go to pancake swap. You want to go to pancake swap. You want to connect your wallet. You go up here to the top, right? If you have MetaMask, you go here. If you have trust wallet, I do wallet connect. And then I scan the QR code from my phone. So this is how you would do that. You go to your trust wallet app, you go to settings, and then you go to wallet connect here. And then you put new connection. And now you can scan a QR code there. And that's how I connect my wallet through web browsers using my trust wallet, easiest way. Now, if you wanna connect your MetaMask, uh, you select it here since it has a web browser, makes it easy. It comes out here and it's showing me uh, if I wanna connect my BNB 
wallet here and I press continue. So make sure you select the right network. You need to go to your MetaMask first and select the network so that you don't get any problems. So say you have your MetaMask open and you're on the Polygon mainnet and you go to your pancake swap to connect. It's going to want to connect to this by default because this is what you have open. So you make sure you have your smart chain wallet open and then you can connect your wallet so that you don't get any errors uh, there and you're connecting the same one. So then you go to connect wallet, MetaMask. It wants to connect to my BNB wallet. That's correct. That's the right network. You go to next and connect. So now I'm connected here. Now you go to trade exchange. It's loading my balance. I don't have anything here. You want to select BUSD. Then you want to select Metaverse Pro. If you go to select currency and you type in here Metaverse Pro, Metaverse Pro is not going to come out. But since I already had added before, it is populating here for me. But for your first time, it most likely not work. So this is what you need to do. Once again, we go to Coin Market Cap. You go to Metaverse Pro. Make sure you're on the right one, and you select the contract here. You copy the address, just like how we add the token. Now we have to add it here on the swap exchange and you paste the contract here and now it reads it. So now you're going to be able to buy metaverse pro with BUSD and uh, you select the quantities here. You enter the amount and might ask for some confirmation gas fees. It's fairly inexpensive on the Binance chain. So you might want to just Make sure you don't buy all your BUSD for uh, Metaverse. You're going to need a little bit for gas fees. So make sure you leave a little bit on the side for gas fees. You're going to do the same process for Trust Wallet. You connect your Trust Wallet and it's the same process here. Now, once you have the token and you confirm these transactions, um, I recommend you leave like $5 on your wallet of BUSD for, for transactions, something like this, maybe $5, $10. I always leave a few dollars on my wallet for gas fees. And so now that you bought successfully, you bought the coin, you want to go uh, to the app. So you want to go to the app, you go to metaverse.pro, you click on app. You want to go here to connect wallet. You select whether it's a uh, MetaMask or wallet connect. It's the same process as when we went to pancake swap to connect your wallet it's the same process so let's just click metamask here and you press next and you connect and now it's connecting so i don't have my metaverse pro staked here on my metamask i have it on my trust wallet so it's not reflecting here so if i want to do my trust wallet i just disconnect it here connect wallet connect and um, it's going to prompt you you have to pick uh, trust wallet it's probably going to show you the QR code like how I showed you earlier on the uh, pancake swap exchange it's the same thing I scan it on my phone and then it reads uh, my wallet so now I have my wallet where I do have my stake tokens here for S meta so how do you stake it's going to read here your balance of how much meta you have when you bought it on the exchange on pancake swap so then you'll be able to put any denomination you would like to stake you could press max and they'll uh, populate your total meta here you put stake meta it's gonna send you a confirmation first you click ok and then you're gonna have to put stake meta again to actually stake it first one's just like a confirmation it's gonna charge you a few cents of a fee uh, basically so that you can stake and then you put stake meta again it's going to charge you some gas fees and I think all these fees are just a few cents so just leave like five dollars I think five dollars will cover all the transactions if you want to be safe maybe ten dollars of BUSD so that's how you buy and stake metaverse make sure you guys check out the links down below if you found this of any help or value check out my patreon and also join the discord it's free 
You can join the Discord for free. We're always talking about new projects there. And we also have a help channel where we just help each other uh, how to do uh, certain things here on DeFi and crypto. And we have a pretty big community where we help out each other. So make sure you guys check that out. Thank you very much. That's going to do it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.